weekend starts dating back to last season. Top one, Sean Green's into big band music, goes down swinging. Wells struck out six over eight and a third. While we're on the subject of swing music, time for Dallas Perez to face the music while facing his pitching counterpart. Daddy. Well, 457 feet, the longest home run hit by a pirate at PNC. Pops in the skybox, can't believe that. Top nine, two nothing Bucks. Runner on Fred McGriff, 0 for 3 against Wells on the evening. Pops a double to deep left center. Mike Kincaid scores, it's 2-1. Wells is done, replaced by Mike Williams, who was 5 for 5 in save ops this season. Paul LaDuca was 2 for 30 in his last seven games. Brian Jordan coming in after LaDuca doubles down the first baseline. Game tied. After getting the inning second out, Williams can't get Adrian Beltre out. He doubles. Williams gives up three doubles and a single in the ninth. And the Dodgers come back and win it 5 2. D backs and Mets. Miguel Batista appealed that suspension, so he was on the bump, gave up three earned in five and two thirds. We go to the seventh, tied at three. Raul, Raul Gonzalez delivers the RBI double. Mike Piazza. I must confess, he has scored the run. It gives the Mets a 4-3 lead. Ninth inning, Armando Benitez into pitch. Benitez has not saved a one-run game and four chances. Craig Council pops out to third with a tying run on third, so we have two outs. Look at him. Oh, keep the matches away from Armando. Ernest Jr. Spivey, little tapper to short, handled easily, and the Mets win 4-3. Ace save for Benitez and 12 chances. Happy recap. Mets win 4-3. Astros rookie Jeremy Robertson has given up 18 runs in less than 21 innings tossed this season. Walks Montreal's Andy Chavez to open his half of the first and runs into double trouble with Jose Vidro. One of two two-baggers from Vidro who leads the bigs in that category with 13. After walking the next batter, Vlad Guerrero. Robertson gives up another double. Orlando Cabrera drives in two. Robertson gave up four runs on four hits in the first. Zach Day making just his second home start. Worked a shutout for eight and a third. Got some lovely work from his mates. Cabrera taking that away from Craig Biggio. One of 13 ground outs for the Strohs. Expos win 10-2. Houston falls to three and eight. On a One that spanned 19 seasons, including four seasons as the team skipper. Buck wasn't even known as Buck when the Yankees drafted him in 1977. He was known as Nat before a minor league manager tagged him as Buck. Friday, William, Nathaniel, Buck, Showalter squared off for the first time ever against the club that raised him. And Buck with his game face on. He doesn't even need paint for that. Vecina. Bottom six, Mike Vecina looking to become the Major's first five-game winner. He's lost five straight starts versus the Rangers. Has had some success against A-Rod. Held him to a 250 batting average with 10 Ks and 48 at-bats coming in. Three pitches, three strikes, and you can add a K for that total. Now, since joining the Yanks, Vecina 0-4 against him with an ERA near 11. Check his horoscope because he had A-Rod in his sights. Eighth inning, another three-pitch. See ya! Rodriguez, 0 for 4 with 2 Ks. We've seen a 9 Ks in 8 innings, 5 hits, 1 run. Bottom 9, 3-1 Yanks. Juan Gonzalez popping that pitch out of play. Robin Ventura brought his adult glove. It was tarp to record the out. We push play and record for another look. Rockin' Robin shows why he has six gold gloves on his mantle. Juan Acevedo gave up a run scoring double to Ruben Sierra to make it interesting. Go two out. Michael Young's liner off Nick Johnson's glove finds Alfonso Soriano's hand over to Acevedo covering first ball game. A Rod begging for another look. Rangers do not get the hometown call. That's about as close a call as close calls go. It goes the Yanks' way. Yanks improved to 19 and 4 with the 3 2 win. And the Moose is your first five game winner. Red Sox traveling to Anaheim, and well, as long as you're in L.A., why don't we check out the Jimmy Kimmel Show? For the 2003 World Champion London Red Sox, now here, Jimmy Kimmel. Red Sox players optimistic they're going to be the world champs in 2003. Well, here's your 2002 world champs. Tim Salmon single to center field. Damian Jackson up, and David Eckstein is hosed by a lot. Casey Fossum out of the first inning with no score. Top six, Red Sox up 3 nothing. Shea Hillenbrand off Jared Washburn. This is not going to make the folks at UW Oshkosh happy at all. Two-run homer, his second. Red Sox leading at 5 nothing. Bottom night, 
Committee says Chad Fox get Benji Molina. 6-4-3, and let's eat. Nice tag at first there to complete the play. Red Sox win it 5-2. Now we move on to the mighty beer makers and the Braves. Shane Reynolds out of the mound, comes in with an ERA of nothing in 12 and a third. Richie Sexton undoes that. Yard off Reynolds. 3-0 Brewers, Sexton back for more. Behold the power of cheese. His seventh home run of the year. It's 5 nothing in favor of the beer makers. Reynolds' woes going to continue. Top four, still 7 nothing. Brewers. Trey Hodges into relief. Reynolds had the bases loaded. John Vanderwall already a home run. And he nails that one. Since it's Milwaukee, I believe that is a grand salami. Three of the runs credit to Reynolds, DRA now 5.74. Top six, Sexton. Well, Burrs haven't had a three home run game since September 2001 when, guess what? Burnitz and Sexton did it, and Sexton makes it a three bagger. Eighth of the season. Now, can it be four top nine? No. Hey, they finally got him out. That's a victory in itself. Brewers going to win this thing 12 5 Sexton, five RBI, a franchise record, 14 total bases. Phillies and Giants open in a three-game set at the Vets. San Francisco won its first seven series of the season. It, it rained on Larry Boa's club in more ways than one. Vincente Padilla in the top of the six, facing Jose Cruz Jr. Hit safely in 18 of his 21 games this season. Pat Burrow makes the play and then shakes it. Somebody get him an umbrella. Top eight, bases loaded, two outs, score tied at two. Dan Plezak against J.T. Snow and Burrow. Get him an umbrella. Dropped it! Or a he dropped it! And the bases are going to clear, and Snow is on the move, and they're going to hold him up. I do not believe it. Three-run score, one of three Phillies airs. They had 11 in the and first 22 Burrell. games. Go for three Talk Friday. The Burrell, the loser, the Giants win it. Uh, scare is a hot topic of conversation. Concerned. Some guys aren't concerned. Some guys make fun of it. Some guys don't. You know, there's just all kinds of different ways of dealing with it, just like everybody else in the world. Brent Main with perspective and a hot Stick batting 375 this season, facing Roy Holiday in the top of the seventh. Maine's got a case of bat scratch fever. His fourth solo shot. Royals down a run. Holiday still looking for his first win of the season. Top nine still 5-4. Kelvin Escobar trying to work pinch hitter Ken Harvey with two men on. Harvey with the base knock to knock. Escobar save off out tight at five. Bottom nine. Blue Jays last three losses have been by one run. Vernon Wells turning the table on that stat. With a walk-off shot, Toronto wins 6-5. Royals' five-game win streak is over. Twins, White Sox, Joe Mays, and the Twins come in. Eight series in the first seven, all resulting in broom jobs. Twins swept the Tigers, who didn't. Twins swept by the Blue Jays. Twins swept by the Yankees. Twins sweep the Blue Jays. Twins sweep the Tigers again. Twins swept by the Yankees. Twins swept by the Royals. And there was a rain out in there, so it's all around. They come in with a six-game losing streak. Frank Thomas, though, against Mays. Just some reckless eyeballing. Armando Rios, an air swig. And then Jose Valentin in the fourth. is chilly. Mays lost a no-hitter in the sixth, but still, just one run on seven innings pitch. And then backing him up with some offense, Bobby Kilty. Oh, he killed that one. Oh, yeah, there. That was swell, eh? Twins go on to win at 6-1. Pencil them in for a sweep. But first, let's watch Jake Peavy twirling against Felipe Lopez. We'll just file that one off. All right, get a new ball. Ball one, next pitch. Filed away again. That's a fan souvenir. And then he's just going to look. All right, here, I'll bring up the next guy. Jose Guillen, strike one. Next pitch, foul back. Peavy just rearing back and firing. Yeah, wave when you leave. Then Sean Casey, strike one. Check swing, strike two, and you're done. PV, 10 pitches, strikes out the side. That's a good start. Finish with nine Ks and six and a third. Padres win at six. For living in the past, Facero, one of three players who will miss part of the future. Arizona's Miguel Batista suspended 10 games. St. Louis's Tino Martinez, four games. Facero, three. And Tony LaRusa won for their rotten egg act on Easter Sunday. Only LaRusa did not immediately appeal or indicate he will appeal. By appealing, those involved may continue to play. And by not appealing, LaRusa would sit Saturday against the Marlins, working Friday in the series opener. Top first, one-on-one-out, Albert Pujols. Get out! He was one for five, career against A.J. Burnett. 
Now he's two for six. Both hits, home runs, Pujols third, two zip. Bottom two, now three not a two on for Todd Hollinsworth, facing Brett Topko. Hollinsworth just two for 18 in his career against Topko. Jim Edmonds taking that away with the shoestring grab, saving runs. Top six, four not of runners on second and third. Burnett intentionally walks Mike Matheny to bring up the pitcher spot. Sacks filled. Michael Tejera warming up. Topko coming up. Runs the count to 3-2 and can walk the first. Tino scores. Now Jeff Torborg replaces Burnett, who led the majors last year with five shutouts, winless in four starts this season. All right, Mark Pryor in Colorado taking on the Rockies. His prior experience at the stick did not include a home run. Does now off Nelson Cruz. Solo shot, 3 nothing Cubs. Bottom three, Pryor getting Ronnie Belliard. He's a voyeur. Bottom five, two on, two out. Jay Payton, 463 career hitter at Coors. Pryor doesn't care. Top six and Pryor. Grips the double down the line. Three runs score. The bases were loaded after an intentional walk. Pryor made a play. Pryor this year at the plate batting 357 with the home run. Opponents hitting a buck 80 with no homers against them. Mark Pryor is going to end the Rocks five game home, home winning streak. Went two for four, four RBIs. Cubs win it 11-7. Check in on the Indians and the A's. Top third, three one A's. Ted Lilly on the mound. Ellis Burks round to short. Miguel Tejada. When you're hitting a buck sixty and go over three, you better do play some defense. He did there. Two outs in the seventh. Three two. Travis Hafner just looks at some high heat. Lilly two earned in seven and two thirds. Ramon Hernandez off David Risky, and that is a go for ball. Hernandez is third. A's win at five two, and God bless them. They played in two hours and four minutes. All right, Detroit with just one road win. Then again, the Tigers have just one home win. At Seattle's home Friday, Mike Moroff, 0-5 this season, can tie the Major League record for most losses before May 1st, held by Dave Stewart back in 84 when he played for the Rangers, the same year that the Tigers won the World Series. Back to Friday's game, bottom first, two on, two out. Moroff facing John Olerud, and Johnny O hits a fly ball to left, and Dimitri Young, I thought he played that well. Randy Wynn scores, one nothing Mariners, and then the bottom second, three nothing Mariners. Bases loaded for Brett You want to let him get by us. <laughs> Doubles to left. Wilson, Ichiro, and Wynn score. Moroff, you're 0-6, congratulations. Mariners win, 6-6. One got by him, and that's, that's, that's all.